<laughs> so, so what is your your favorite weapon that you that you've made so far? Favorite, favorite. Um, man, uh, I'm I'm really partial to sabers, and we've done a lot of different kinds of sabers. Mm-hmm. I just watched the um, one with the George Washington's thing that is a word. I oh, can't the cutter, yeah, yeah, the 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 lion head cutter. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that. Yeah, that's a nice weapon. It's nice, fat. It's fast. It's just a hanger. You know, it's not not huge. Um, yeah. So I, I maybe the maybe the Indian Tulwar is one of my favorites because the the handle um, and guard takes so much uh, work and, and detail, and it's it's a saber that looks really heavy, but it's not because it's just paper thin. Ooh, that's they're so just cool. like this giant wicked weight razor blade that hacks things to pieces there's a, a a series of books um one of them is uh um swordsman in the time of the raj and it's they're all about um uh, first-hand accounts of british swordsmen um in india uh during the uh the late 17 and early 1800s so it's it's fascinating to see what these swords are read about what these swords were pot- capable of doing uh, in the hands of, of professionals. Dave Baker from Forged in the Fire, and you've been listening to The Reverend and the Reprobating. And this is why you really shouldn't listen.